What made the five billionaires drown and die deep in the ocean? Inside their well-equipped submarine. What were the last words they said before their oxygen finally got out? Why only these five people? What was common among them? Let's go into the details of all these questions. But before that, here is something you need to check out. If you are feeling drowned in the sea of sins, when your heart is constantly berating you from the inside, then it is a return back call from your Creator. On June 22, 2023, in a statement to the CBS News, the Ocean Gate finally confirmed that all the five passengers of the submarine Titan had sadly been lost. The news media had been keeping account on the number of hours and the level of oxygen remaining and the company was trying their best to bring the submersible Titan up. But after this statement, all hopes are now gone. Brothers and sisters, did you know that the makers of this submersible in an interview said that this sub is invincible? It is foolproof. Nothing can bring it down. Do you remember what happened to the great Titanic after his makers said that even God could not sink that ship? Na'udhu Billah. The ship sank so badly and its wreckage has been preserved deep in the ocean so perfectly that Allah made it an ibrat for all of us. Did you know that this company has been taking people from all income levels and age groups on such explorations? Explorations of what exactly? Exploration of the wreckage of a huge ship. They go on a trip for the sake of fun to see the remains of the thousands of those who died in an adab sent by the Almighty. Does this make sense to any of us brothers and sisters? Prophet Muhammad said that when you pass by the areas of adab, pass by quickly. Don't stand there for long. You may even fall victim to the adab. The same has happened to this submarine. Hasn't it brothers and sisters? Do you remember the story of Ashab Hijr in the Quran? The strong, magically skillful people who were given a lot of fertile land and sent to them one of his prophets, Hazrat Salih salam. But they disobeyed him. As a punishment for this, Allah sent an earthquake in the middle of the night. And the next morning, they were all dead. None of them woke up ever again. Allah says in the Quran, Thereupon a shocking catastrophe seized them, so that they lay prostrate in their dwellings. What remained were their huge and gigantic buildings and monuments they had made from mountains and hard rocks. When Prophet Muhammad ﷺ passed by this place while going for a Khazwa Tabuk, he specifically showed the Sahaba this deserted place as an Ibrat. He told them to drink water only from one well which was once used by the camel of Hazrat Salih salam, Prophet Muhammad wasallam, prohibited them to eat or drink anything else from that area and pass through it rather quickly. Because it is a sign of Ibrat and you should not make it a place of enjoyment and amusement. About the remains of this nation, Prophet Muhammad wasallam, said, Do not enter the dwelling places of these people unless you weep, but if you weep not, then do not enter upon them, lest you be afflicted with what they were afflicted with. So brothers and sisters, this whole concept of romanticizing the titanic debris and remains in the ocean, taking amusement trips around it and spending millions of dollars on it in the name of adventure is not ethical or moral in any way. Plus, this wreck of titanic is also a cemetery for thousands of people who died in and around it. Does anyone take trips to cemeteries and graveyards? Now the pieces of imploded submersible have been found right next to the wreckage of Titanic. The submarine Titan have also been made a sign of Ibrat by the Almighty. The rescuers patrolling the ocean in the search of the submersible have also reported that the sonar devices recorded sounds of banging of the walls and windows every 30 minutes. You can hear them yourself. Unfortunately, brothers and sisters, there is no way to bring that submersible up on the surface. 
These sounds are a reminder to all of us that whether you are rich or poor, young or old, believer or a disbeliever, death is just one breath away. Standing right behind us, sometimes while we are completely unaware of it, all our life needs to end is one kun by the Almighty Allah and we will be done within seconds. Besides that, brothers and sisters, this event is a huge reminder for all of us. All of them are some of the richest businessmen on earth. Allah brought them all together, showed them who is in power, and then ended their lives. This reminds us that all the time we have on our hands is borrowed and it can end anytime, anywhere. We could be thinking of it at that very moment or we could have absolutely no idea. Only Allah knows. Brothers and sisters, have you seen that episode of Simpsons which depicts a similar scenario as the recent Ocean Gate event? The lead character could be seen taking a submarine down the ocean to take a tour of the remains of the Titanic, the gigantic ship that sank in 1912. He gets stuck somewhere in the ocean and suddenly his oxygen runs out. The similarities are striking. The Ocean Gate event in which a submersible carrying five persons imploded underwater is important in so many ways, brothers and sisters. This event got so much coverage that we are forced to wonder why does Allah want everyone to know about this event? It is clear that this event is yet another proclamation of the power and might of Allah. The passengers on the 21-foot sub were British businessmen Hamish Harding, Pakistani businessman Shahzada Daud and his teenage son Suleiman, French explorer Paul Henry Nargillet and Stockton Rush, CEO of OceanGate, the company that operates the vessel. You can see that all of them are rich, famous personalities and from four different parts of the world. The CEO of the Ocean Gate was himself a part of the expedition. He won't get into the sub without running all the checks, right? This makes it clear when the death is destined deep in the ocean, a person will even spend millions of dollars to get there and meet his death.